Understanding, not big on talking. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we aim to make English learning easy and fun for you. Today, we're diving into a phrase that might seem a bit puzzling at first. Not big on talking. This expression is a fascinating piece of the English language puzzle, and understanding it can really help you in both casual and more formal conversations. So, let's get started and unravel the meaning together. The phrase, not big on talking, is an idiomatic expression used to describe someone's personality or their current mood. When we say someone is not big on something, we mean they do not particularly like it, they're not very interested in it, or they do not engage in it enthusiastically. The talking part, as you might guess, refers to the act of speaking. So, putting it all together, if someone is not big on talking, it means they don't particularly enjoy engaging in conversations or they prefer to speak less. Understanding when and how to use the phrase, not big on talking, can greatly enhance your communication skills. It's often used in casual, everyday conversation to describe either oneself or someone else. For example, in a social setting, if someone is quiet, a friend might explain to others, oh, don't mind her. She's just not big on talking. Or, if you're explaining your own preferences, you might say, I'm not big on talking. I prefer listening. It's also useful in more formal contexts to politely express a preference or characteristic without being too direct or negative. For instance, during a job interview, if asked about teamwork, you could say, while I value teamwork, I'm not big on talking. I believe in letting my work speak for itself. The English language is rich with nuances, and understanding them can help you express yourself more accurately. Being not big on talking doesn't necessarily mean someone is shy or antisocial. It could simply be a preference or mood at the moment. If you're looking for alternatives to express a similar sentiment, you might consider. I'm more of a listener. I prefer keeping things to myself. I'm not much for conversation. These variations can add depth to your conversations and help you convey your thoughts more precisely. We hope this exploration of the phrase, not big on talking, has been enlightening and adds a valuable tool to your English communication toolkit. Remember, understanding these idiomatic expressions not only helps in making your conversations more fluent but also in grasping the subtle nuances of the English language. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights in future videos. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to embrace the beautiful complexity of English.